The people have spoken. Thousands of people marched to the Neta last Monday to make a stand. From a single online campaign, a protest dubbed as Million People March showed the United Filipino spirit calling for one thing, abolish the pork barrel system. The system of pork barrel in the Philippines was copied from the U.S. Congress. Pork barrel has evolved through the years. Its roots can be traced from the so-called Community Development Fund formed in 1990 by the current president's mother, former President Corazon Aquino. Its current form is called the Priority Development Assistance Fund, or PIDA, where lawmakers are dealt with millions of pesos to be used for their chosen government projects, more commonly known as the pork barrel. But in the recent report released by the Commission on Audit, at least 82 non-government organizations, 12 senators, and 180 congressmen were questioned due to irregularities. Panahon na po upang i-abolish ang PIDA. Ngayon, bubu tayo ng bagong mekanismo upang matugunan ang pangangailangan ng inyong mga mamamayan at sektor sa paraang tapat, gamit ang tama at makatwiran proseso at ng may sapat na makalasag laban sa pangaabuso at katiwalian. Though President Aquino seemingly tried to quell the people's sentiments when he announced that he supports the abolition of the PDAF, Filipinos still seem to be uncontented with the president's action. It should be abolished completely. Total abolition because regardless of what you call it, it's still pork barrel. Para maramdaman ng gobyerno kung ano ang reklamo ng tao. Every time maririnig ko the name of the police and the congressman involved, mukha na dinuguan yung loob ko sa galit. The controversy hounding the pork barrel system has led many Filipinos to become more involved in this issue. All these awakened the Filipinos and moved them to mobilize a protest action in Luneta. We in Opposing Views are not stopping to steer the discussions about the darkest shadow by far that stales the very popular leadership of the current administration. Good evening, I'm Rod Dipomoseno and this is Opposing Views. Our question for tonight, do you agree with President Aquino's pronouncement regarding the pork barrel system? Joining us tonight, agreeing with the President's decision to reform the pork barrel system is Congressman Danilo Suarez. Uh, Congressman, your two cents worth. Uh, good evening, Rod. Uh, good evening, Teddy. I agree with the position of the President uh, in his uh, position regarding mm -hmm. this controversy. But I hope in this program I can air out also my personal position why this is an equalizer. All right. Okay. And also with us, a former member of the Makabayan Bloc in Congress uh, that uh, filed a bill recently for total abolishment of the pork barrel system, Representative Teddy Casino. Teddy, good evening, sir. Good evening, Rod, uh, Kong Suarez, Kong Dani, at uh, everyone. Good evening. I, I do not agree completely with the President's position that uh, we can reform the pork barrel system. Our stand in the Makabayan Coalition and my personal stand is that we, ab we should abolish the system altogether, mm -hmm. the pork barrel system altogether, and that uh, the correct use of a few uh, does not uh, overcome the uh, plunder uh, of the many. Right. Okay. All right. Let's start off with uh, a question on, on necessity. No? Um, everyone seems to be talking about this, whether it's it's really needed or not needed and th there seems to be a general sentiment that it's that it's not needed now can i ask a question first to uh, congressman suarez is is the pork barrel really needed by the legislators okay it's a question of definition uh, the constitution is clear uh, 87 precisely the reason why we have edsa is to check the abuse of one man in terms of public expenditures mm -hmm. it's supposed to be congress should be the keeper of the parts Mm -hmm. and executive do the expenditures. That's the premise. That's the premise, yeah. Ngayon, this is, I've been a congressman for six term. For six term, rather, you know. And as I've said, it's an equalizer. As we are debating now, half or more than half of the Filipinos are either in poverty, unemployed, and hungry. Mm -hmm. Remember, a hungry people Person is angry people. Mm -hmm. Is an angry person. Mm -hmm. Yan ang premise natin. So, yung i-abolish natin, 
Mm. Wala naman kami magagawa pag sinabi naman ng Pangulo na i-abolish. Yeah. I mean, kung he can influence the House and the Senate, i-abolish. But there should be, I'm, this is too unpopular to say, you replicate the system with a pale proof uh, social services fund that can equate for this, uh, because you cannot wait. You don't have the luxury of time. You, you were a, a, I mean, a representative once. You were part of the, the House. Yeah. Um, and do you, do you feel the need uh, for, for, for the pork barrel? But, I'm, I'm assuming Rod, that we, we, you wish your face. So. <laughs> as a legislator, we don't need it. Yeah. You know, uh, in the previous administration, we, there was five years where not a single centavo mm -hmm. of the PIDAF was released to our constituents. Mm -hmm. And we survived. Uh, mm -hmm. In fact, we even got uh, more votes in the mm -hmm. next elections. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and we were able to serve our consp uh, constituents uh, to the best of our ability and mm -hmm. uh, to serve them well, right. even without the pork barrel. So mm -hmm. it's, it's so not it's a, a need. Now, now, Pinoy's pronouncements, let's go, let's go to the heart of the matter. Now. Pinoy's pronouncements, you, um, you, you said earlier in your statement that uh, it, 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 you don't agree with it. Well, uh, be, because in the first place, uh, the president is not abolishing the pork barrel. All right. So we, what we, he, you want to make that clear? Yes. He, he, what, he, he, what he said in his statement was that uh, they will abolish the PIDAF, PIDAF yeah. but they will come up with a new mechanism. Mm -hmm. So, ganun pa rin yun. Tig mm -hmm. 70 million pa rin si congressman, tig 200 million pa rin si senador, and the president has anywhere from 400 billion to as much as 1.2 trillion estimated uh, discretionary, discretionary funds. funds. Mm, all right. So, we, we are not actually abolishing uh, anything. Uh, the president just wants to, you know, uh, in introduce a line item line itemized pork, mm -hmm. which is basically the same thing because as long as the discretion lies uh, with the legislators and, and also with the executive, it is vulnerable to corruption, it is vulnerable to uh, patronage politics. So to you, the, when he said that we're, it's time to abolish the PDAF, Let's, it's just you know, abolishing the name but it's, it's, it's the same animal. Yung sistema na hindi kailangan ng legislator or a public elected official ang isang funds that you can co mm -hmm. come up with social assistance. That's good for developed nation. Mm -hmm. Doon walang pumupunta sa bahay ng congressman. Wala mm -hmm. doon nang hihingi pag may namatayan, mm -hmm. pag merong may sakit. They don't go there. Mm -hmm. Eh tayo dito, hindi pa, gaya na sinabi ko, kalahati ng population is in poverty. Right. And, and as, as we are talking now, one person is, has a serious illness in my district. Mm -hmm. And it's I, knock, knocking on your door. And, and uh, for the last 18 years, I have life support systems using mm -hmm. government funds mm -hmm. that I have placed in the hospital. Mm -hmm. These are serious cases of tuberculosis and yeah. kidney problem. Mm -hmm. Alam mo naman, napaka mamahal ng sakit na ito. Mm -hmm. Saan namin kukunin yung pangtulong Fair. dito? Eh, ang, ang position ni Teddy, ilagay sa meaningful use ng you beef up Department of Health and come up with this solution. But let's be realistic about this. Not even the PDAP can answer to all of this. Mm -hmm. I can even say this is a band-aid solution, but something is being done. Mm -hmm. But do you think, though, that uh, the, the president was being uh, upfront and being honest to the people when he said, we'll abolish the PDAF? Or was it just a way of appeasing the people? Uh, oh, don't go not to the rally. Well, so I, I'm, I'm changing well, it. I'm uh, listening to you. Well, I, I will have to admit, it's a very unpopular politically for the president because ang alay niya, ang, remember, both uh, Senate and House is now influenced by the administration. Mga mm -hmm. tao niya, yan, yan ang unang maapektuhan. Yeah. Pero ang, sa akin lang, and I think Teddy, sabi ni Teddy, five years na siyang hindi natanggapan during the time mm -hmm. of GMA. Mm -hmm. Nung may natanggap ka, Teddy, di, naglagay ka din siguro sa hospital. Mm -hmm. Pareho tayo eh. Halos pareho tayo. Ng, kaya tayo yung pangalan natin, wala dito kay Janet na Polis, we applied it properly. Right. Uh -huh. Ngayon, mm -hmm. maaring sabihin natin na may umabuso. Because right now, we're still guessing. Mm -hmm. Tama ba lahat itong mga allegations na ito? Mm -hmm. Kasi Sila ngayon, pinira, no? katulad ng sinabi nila, may 3 billion si Y. Kurat. Wala no, naman pala. pala. Oh. Paano oh. ngayon yan? The damage there already. Mm -hmm. So, ang, ang sa akin lang is this. You come up with more stringent measure mm -hmm. you, uh, to, to see that the public money is properly used, mm -hmm. but you do not have the luxury of time to sit while 
Yeah. Bulk of your country is suffering. Yeah. Teddy, uh, yun nga, as, as uh, mentioned mm -hmm. by Congressman Suarez, no? parang in a way, it's like a, a gun. Eh? <laughs> some people use it wisely for defense and some, some obviously use it for, for uh, yeah. committing crime. Uh, some people have used it, some congressmen like yourselves and Congressman uh, Danny have used it wisely. And ang, ang, problema Rod, ang problema, mm -hmm. Rod, as shown by the Napolis scam mm -hmm. and shown by the COA report. Mm -hmm. And, uh, it, and yung, yung uh, public knowledge ng marami, mm -hmm mas madalas nagagamit sa katiwalian eh. Mm -hmm. and, and my position is, our position is, uh, kahit may ilan na gumamit nito ng tama, uh, it, it cannot justify. compensate mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. the widespread plunder that has happened through all these years. Mm -hmm. Ngayon, pwede naman kasi may sistema na hindi mawawala yung social services. Eh. Mm -hmm. If ang concern natin dyan ay yung health services Providing, oh. or the scholarships, the funds does not have to pass through the congressman. Mm -hmm. Like, bakit kailangan yung isang mahirap na pasyente lalapit pa sa akin para makakuha ng serbisyo sa ospital? Ang magiging trabaho ng congressman and, and the senator is oversight. Mm -mm. No? Alibawa, oh, ilagay natin yung uh, ganitong halaga dito sa ospital na ito. Babantayan ngayon, ito ba ay nagagamit ng tama? But to treat that as my entitlement mm -hmm. na 70 million sa akin dito ha, lalagay ko dito, dito, dito. And then ako rin ang mag implement I will choose the beneficiaries. Mm -hmm. And then uh, by extension, I will choose the suppliers and how it is dispersed hmm. at uh, maglalagay ako ng karatula diyan hmm. yun yung uh, um, gusto natin iwasan plus mm -mm. plus the problem of the, the pork barrel being used as a carrot and stick by Malacañang mm -mm. to to get what it wants from congress to blackmail congress into agreeing to everything that it wants to mm -mm. to do uh, congressman uh, itong uh, pork barrel daw is uh, pang ano pang <laughs> Pang uh, karot stick niya, eh. pang yeah. blackmail. I said, uh, said uh, 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 pwede ganito. Realidad yan. Eh. Fine, we can come up with an ideal solution to all of these issues. Mm. But you go down to the basic issue. It, it always calls for money. money. Mm. And unfortunately, we don't have that. Mm. Ah, ang sinasabi ko lang is, based on my 18 years in the house, mm. uh, For instance, all of the municipalities in my district have congressional funds. Nakadeposito sa tesorero, and I followed the guideline of DBM, how can you spend that money? So we followed the menu. Isipin mo, Teddy, Rad, ano? Madali sa akin magsalita ang piling ng mahihirap, dati akong wala eh. I've experienced to have no money in my pocket, I've experienced to be jobless. Now, I can assimilate myself how a poor feels. Mm -hmm. Dito, pag may namatay sa ating distrito, kumisan dalawang araw nang nakahiga doon sa isang parplang barangay, hindi pa maservisyohan, walang pambili ng kabahan. Mm -hmm. Sa pera ng congressman, as Teddy will be saying, you can come up with a social fund to say that pag may namatay na indigent, namitin mo yung DSWD. Look at the records. Look at the clerical procedure and how can you avail mm -hmm. of government funds. And I can tell you, okay. ganyan kakapal siguro yung mga people upon mong form. Right. Well, this in a single stroke of my pen, I can say, can no. give 5,000 boreal for one de la Cruz. Right. Now, okay, uh, let's, let's uh, tackle the, the aspect of transparency. I think, isn't transparency the issue here? Doesn't the President's uh, decision you know, to, um, to provide all of these uh, parang safeguards address the issues on, on transparency. For example, yung specific menu nga, as mentioned by Congressman uh, Suarez, wala nang, ano, wala nang soft projects yung mga using consumable ano, goods. Tsaka dapat gamitin lang in your district. Wala na yung mga parang giving it to some, some bogus NGO. Uh, there, there are seven points there, uh, Teddy. Uh, is, uh, do you think that uh, hindi, hindi pa sapat yun in terms of uh, correcting the, the matter of uh, transparency or the lack of transparency? Alam mo, o, o, a number of these... Uh features were already introduced mm -hmm. uh, a few years back. So this is not new. This Yung is not menu new. na yan. Oh, uh -huh. oh. And, and by and large, the PDAF of congressmen mm -hmm. are limited within the district. No? In effect, ganun na nangyayari dito eh. Congress mm -hmm. uh, approves the budget mm -hmm. and they put in 70 million for themselves mm -hmm. na sila ang may discretion. Mm -hmm. And even if we itemize that, no, ang, ang problema kasi dyan, ang trato dyan, pera ni congressman ito eh. Doon nagkakaproblema. Yes. Unless that is removed, that right. discretion is removed, right. and that participation in disbursement and the implementation, um, we will Major be back to square one. I see. All right. Now, let's see. Um, at this point, we need to take a short break. No? Now, let's see what uh, the viewers are saying.
through our online poll. Medyo mainit ang ating topic. Our question, do you agree with President Aquino's pronouncement regarding the pork barrel system? Those who said no, 70%. And those saying yes, that they agree, just, uh, just to reform, 30%. So we invite you, our televiewers, to, to join the discussions online by liking us on Facebook at facebook.com slash solar opposing views. Follow us also on Twitter at opposing underscore views using the hashtag opposing views. More on the pork barrel issue after this break. Stay tuned. You are watching Opposing Views. Welcome back. You're watching Opposing Views. Still with us, uh, Congressman Danilo Suarez and former Representative Teddy Casino. And we're still discussing uh, if the pork barrel system uh, should be complete, completely abolished or a calibration and change in mechanism would suffice to address the current problem. Now, before the break, uh, Teddy, wa Teddy Casino was uh, discussing you know, the, the, the various safeguards that were outlined by the President. I believe he outlined seven safeguards. Um, and you mentioned earlier that these, these safeguards were already there. Um, so now we'll go, we'll go naman to uh, Congressman Suarez. Um, Congressman, yung mga safeguards na in outline ni, ni President. No? Uh, one mm -hmm. of them, of course, is the specific menu. And the, um, Red ganito, mm -hmm. ha? Ay, ay, natin mabuti. Mm -hmm. ano? Yung 70 million na sinasabi namin dito mm -hmm. ni Teddy is 40 million of that right now are what we call hard. Hard Meaning, budgets, oh. These are infra, like bridges, yeah. uh, roads, uh, and with, permanent, this, mga permanent with this rigid implementation of uh, Babe Singson and DPWH mm. and the district engineers, I think even Teddy will agree with me. There is an enormous amount of growth and improvement in terms of addressing irregularities in the department of mm -hmm. DPWH. Mm. So you can say that the 40 million is well yung, yung, in place. Of course, crafting the budget is mm. one of the well, of key uh, functions of, of mm. Congress. Uh, I mean, but but it, budget it should not come to the so. point. It, it should not come to the point that the congressman himself becomes involved in identifying yung waiting shed sa lugar mm. niya mm. o kung ilang gamot ang bibilihin sa kanyang distrito. And then, siya rin yung maglalabas. Siya rin yung magdi-disburse. Siya rin yung... Hindi, uh, we, we don't... Kaya, kaya, kaya ano eh. Kaya, we, yung, we don't disburse. Yung we, mga... We, we, we don't disburse. Yeah, but like we, we just tell them yung tulong, how much money yung is going tulong to be spent. Eh. Mm. Yung tulong na hospital. Oh. Kailangan may guarantee letter ni congressman yun. Oh. Mm. Kung wala yun, hindi ilalabas ng hospital yun. Pwede naman kasing alisin na yung PDAF. Pwede nang alisin yung pork barrel. Uh, nang hindi nawawala o hindi nababawasan yung social services. Mm. No? Kasi yung pondo naman, ililipat mo lang yan. Eh. Mm. At mawawala na yung papel ng mga... Uh, at least one layer of politicians mm. in the disbursement of funds. Mm -hmm. Pero ang, ang, ang gusto ko rin idagdag na the PIDAF, the Congressional Pork, is a minuscule portion of the totality of the pork barrel system. Yes. No, the President's pork is the biggest. It's, mm. it's anywhere between 400 billion to mm -hmm. 1.2 trillion. All right. And uh, ito, nagagamit ng Presidente ito yeah. to bend Congress's... Uh, and this is all discretionary? Well, right? And these are discretionary right. funds. Now, now Congressman, uh, anong ma okay, now that we're in the topic, no, the pork barrel is not limited the, to the legislators. It's, I, I'm uh, not, it's also... I, I, mm. I am not a member of the Liberal Party. So, hindi ko naman pwede sabihin, uh, the 1.1 trillion, if you look at the GAA, mm. is not really discretionary, Teddy. Let's face it. No, estimates. Identified it's naman estimates, yung pati yung... Yeah. Alam mo naman yan, pati pension fund, nandun naman right, lahat right. yan eh. So, well, let, let's not come up with an imaginary figure na si Pinoy has... But should, should the legislator have control? Like, uh, now this cuts both ways, no? Kasi according to Senator Jingo, eh, sabi niya, wala na, he did not, for example, know the veracity or the you know, whether bogus yung mga NGOs na napunta ng mga funds niya. Uh, on that regard, Teddy, the, 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 the legislator there involved wasn't so... Uh, I guess involved. Parang he just had a general idea of where his money was going to come from, uh, what, what it was going to go, and then it was, uh, and he tasked the implementing agency to, to, well, to handle it. Rod, no. So the, we, we weren't the, born yesterday. The, 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 I, don't, I don't believe that he didn't know the senator. Exactly. Well, yeah, exactly. Na bogus yung kadil ng NGO. Oh, 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 yeah. I mean, let, let, yeah. let's let's be honest. Uh, right now, 
uh, the the budget has been made for 2013, diba? And nakaalat na sa senators 200 million, nakaalat na sa congressman 70 million. So we, we cannot change that midstream, right? Well, so, it, it's up to Congress and it's mm -hmm. up to the president to convince Congress mm -hmm. that uh, they have to change the system. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, but you know, nga, nakakalungkot that uh, uh, Secretary Abad already mm -hmm. said that this will be operational in 2015. So apparently for 2013 and 2014, it's still the same system. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and that's, I think, one of the reasons why many people were really uh, disappointed Mm. Uh, and decided to still join the Monday protests. Because uh, uh, wal, wala ring ano eh. 2015, one, one yung, yung eh. Oh. And now, from, mm. from now until 2015, that's a long way off. Mm. Uh, hinihingi ng taong bayan, action ngayon. Mm. Now, Congressman, are you in favor of that? That there should be a major change? Well, uh, uh, there should be a law abolishing it talaga? Or, uh, ganito, or impractical ba Magbibigay ako sa yun, isang mm. classic example that you can come up with maybe some corrective measure. Mm. Uh, yung soft ko, naglagay ako ng several millions sa Philippine Coconut Authority to buy seedlings. Mm -hmm. ang, ang, kung gusto mong sabihin ng Malaysia, pwede sabihin na sinasabi ni Teddy, pupuntahan ko ang PCA at sasabihin ko, o bilhin mo yan kay, kay, kay Prudencio, mm -hmm. gano'n na, mm -hmm. yun may Malaysia yun. Tama si Teddy. Mali yun, sapagkat bakit mo sasabihin na kay Prudensyo mo bibilhin yung 5 million pesos worth na coconut seedlings? Maaring, ay eh, constituent ko yan, eh, tumulong sa akin yan ng kumpanya. That's bad. Ha? Pero, number one, yung bang presyo is the price of PCA on the seedlings. Ang sinasabi nating check and balance at sinasabi ni Teddy ng oversight naman is function namin na Ano ba nangyari doon sa dineliver mo? Ilang ba dyan ang na-reject? Ilan dyan ang hindi tumubo? Ilan ba dyan ang bansot? Or kung ano-ano. That's the oversight function. Dahil sa maaring ang PCA magkamali. Bakit umabuso sila? Sabihin, 5 million ito. Bumili ka na lang ng 3 million. Bahala na tayo sa ito. Pwede mangyari yun. Now, yan ang sinasabi natin na put rigid control on an oversight function on how money is being spent. Nakuha ng PCA yung pondo. Uh, sabihin ngayon ng PCA, kanino ba galing itong pera? Ah, bigay ni Congressman Suarez yan. Ah, ganun ba? Huwag muna natin gamitin. Tanong natin kay Kong ano bang gusto niya mangyari. Yan yung realidad eh. At hindi lang sa Coconut Authority. All departments na binigyan ng Congressman ng PDAF, ang tatanong yan kay Congressman, ano bang gagawin natin dito sa pera nyo? And that's the danger. No? Yun ang problema doon. Kasi siyempre si Congressman tao lamang. Meron siyang mga constituents. Kailangan niyang ibalik yung uh, ibinigay na boto sa kanya. Hmm. At tingin ko, the temptation is too great for the congressman na to say, o oh, pwede ba itong uh, ganitong milyon ibigay natin dito sa grupong ito? Uh, they can be coconut farmers, hmm. but because they are coconut farmers that voted for me, hmm. sila ang mauuna. Hmm. So do doon ang ano eh. And, yung... and, and by giving that discretion to the congressman, oh. mabuti si Congressman Suarez, hindi niya inaabuso. Hmm. Pero I don't think we can... We can uh, you're, you're thinking lang parang in it's general, just too much of a temptation. In general, uh -huh. and what we saw with uh -huh. the COA report covering just two years hmm. and the Napoles scam, hmm. eh dun talaga eh, that, that opens a Pandora's box of, of corruption. Cool. And, Political and, 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 overhaul. And right? I think the president has... Uh, and, well, that is probably the point. Yeah. Uh, hindi lang ito simple issue ng PDAF. Hmm. It, it, it is, a, it is a, just part of a bigger system of, hmm. uh, of a, a corrupt system where political patronage right. is really uh, yeah. the name of the game. Mm -hmm. and, and we have to address that right. from a systematic point of view. And, and the president uh, has a golden opportunity to, do it, to, to institute it. that kind of change. Yeah. Now, whether he's up to it or not, yeah. uh, th that mm. is what we are demanding as a people. Mm. And I think that's what the people mm. last Monday uh, really expects from uh, this government. Yeah. Now, Congressman uh, Suarez, you're in the minority and it's kind of rare that the minority actually supports the president. But in this case, you think that he's right. No? Oh. He's spot on. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll delve on a one particular sensitive issue. Ano? As I said, it's an equalizer. Mm. Uh, we have different municipalities, first class, second class. And how do you rate the municipalities by the amount of money that is mm. circulating in its area, amount mm. of taxes, etc.? 
let's talk of one town in my province. Let's talk of Pulillo. O, o no, Humalig. It's a small uh, purplang island in the Pacific. Araw-araw, ang tao dyan either fishing or harvesting their crop. Mm. So, ang pera ng bayan na yan ay nanggagaling lang sa fishing at saka sa agricultural Agriculture. produce. Mm. Dumating ngayon ang kailangan na yung isang area kailangan lagyan natin ng water impounding at saka flood control. Mm. Naglagay si Congressman ng limang milyong piso mm. para doon sa bayan na yun. Yeah. Yung limang milyong piso na yan, Rule of the thumb, 30% will be retained in the town. Mm -hmm. So we're talking of one and a half million fresh money na papasok sa bayan na yon, mm -hmm. na iikot na yon, Kasi yan ay salaries, wages, yeah. local materials, yung mga bibili mm -hmm. sa mga karindiriya, ganon. Mm -hmm. So nagkaroon ng perang pumasok sa bayan na yan right. na hindi nang galing may, sa pangingisda at may, saka may sa pagsaka. Now, in, um, in it's a... It's a never-ending yeah. cycle that happens every year. Yeah. Oh. May bawat bayan yan, kahit pa paano, may dadating ang project ng congressman okay. yan. Now, congressman, I'm sorry to cut you short. No? We're running out of time. But uh, we'd like to thank you, of course, Congressman Danilo Suarez and, of course, Representative Teddy Casino. You know, transparency, honesty, and accountability are, are hallmarks of good governance. And here's the key. The government should be upfront and open to scrutiny at any time so that ordinary Filipinos feel that the country's development is indeed the government's only agenda. Now, we believe that the problem lies mainly on this, the discretionary aspect of the fund. If our leaders can be trusted to be open and transparent, then there should be no problem. If we trust them, then we trust their discretion. At the point, though, at this point, can we categorically say that we trust the government, especially now that all these anomalies have surfaced? Do you trust your congressman? Do you trust your senators? Do you trust your president? That's the crux of our dilemma at the moment. The pork barrel system is not wrong in it by itself. We all know that. But the problem lies on whether we fully trust the people managing it. And that's what we need to address. And unfortunately, that is something we cannot resolve overnight. The burden of proof rests in our executive and legislative public servants. Prove first that you are worthy of the people's trust. And it starts with that position, with the position that you take right now on this whole issue. We believe that that's the first step in moving forward. Now, let's take a final look at our online poll. Our question, do you agree with President Aquino's pronouncement regarding the pork barrel system? The little movement here, no, 67%, and yes, 33%. And that's our opposing views for tonight. Tune in again next week for another bold and engaging discussion on the most relevant issues of today. I'm Rod Depomoceno. Good night and God bless.